okay guys so the process to get this done is to duplicate the layer duplicate it once more rename the top layer multiply then the one below you rename as screen these names are just the blending options we are going to use to apply to these individual layers so you turn off the multiply layer and uh, change the blending option of the screen layer to screen go to blending option from the fx now the underlining layer is where your focus should be you move the slider to the left from the right sorry you move the slider from the right to the left you split it with alt on your keyboard or option key on mac and then you adjust accordingly to get a fine blend before and after i'm going to multiply turn on the multiply layer now select multiply from the blending mode double click on the layer or go to effects and bring up the blending option still on the underlining layer this time you move the slider on the right to the left then you hold out and split once more and adjust to blend the transition after cutting it paste you click on ok now from this point we group these two layers together and rename it sculpt Now create a max by clicking on this down here a white max then go to image apply image leave everything at default and click on ok before and after from this point we create a stamp visible layer by holding ctrl shift alternate e on your keyboard now you turn this layer to a smart object by right clicking on the layer convert to smart object now you can rename it CR filter that's for camera filter because we are going to go into camera roll right now to make some final adjustment in order to get this stuff way more three dimensional camera roll when it loads up you go to your contrast and increase the contrast at the values used here we vary from image to image but just knowing the slider to pull is what matters for this so you move your highlight increase it and then your black you take down the black like you increase the black point of the image since it's a little bit faded here now you go to your texture increase the texture a little bit to give this image some gritty look yeah now let's take a look at the before and the after this is the before and this is the after okay now you click on ok now group this layer together And now take a look at the before and after before after uh, at this stage you can use the opacity slider to either reduce the effect as much as you would want like you reduce the effect or you leave it as it is if you like how it's looking but the opacity is there for you to reduce the excesses that's it for this from here if you desire to get a lot we have over 1500 lots and counting because we go through the creative process of creating different color styles some are actually standards that have already been set like the moody the uh, vibrant color all these kind of floats we have them and you can use them your different images 
and the good part of this is not like there's no fixed price for it like you get as much as you want and even your region can determine you get high discount because we understand with regions with very high exchange rate and all that so just check the link in the description and if you want full course full retouching course you can also check a link in the description and if you want practice images over 50 of them are more beauty portrait landscape any kind of photography resources you desire you can let us know in the comment section your feedback are highly appreciated and your likes are exactly what keeps us going so thank you for watching see you in another beautiful video